I'm getting ready for my big late night chocolate party tonight and the first thing that I'm going to do is make my famous chocolate brownies. To start them, I take a bit of butter, a stick and a half, and I'm going to use the wrappers to grease the pan that I'm going to use. Take half of that stick, Let's see here, there we go, and bring the heat up to low. I'm using unsalted sweet butter here so I can control the amount of salt in the dish. That's especially important when you're baking. All right, so while that is melting, I can go ahead and butter the pan that I'm gonna bake this batch in. I'm gonna add a cup and a half of regular granulated sugar. Here we go. So that's a cup, and this is a half. And I'm just gonna whisk my butter, and that's gonna turn this a really nice, thick, rich yellow color. So you want to whisk it plenty. That is looking great. Really nice and light, light yellow color. And now I'm going to start adding some liquid ingredients. First thing is eggs. All right, so I'm going to start with one egg. Make sure your eggs are at room temperature before you add them, or else your butter will firm up and you'll get a lumpy batter. All right, so number two. There we go. All right, second one in. Now I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of water. Two tablespoons, great. To that, I'm going to add a half teaspoon of vanilla. And vanilla is totally a wonder ingredient because just a few drops add so much richness to baked goods. Make sure that you get the pure stuff though because there is artificial and that just doesn't, just doesn't cut it, you know? So splurge on the good stuff and use it sparingly. All right, now I can start adding some more dry ingredients. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, real light. Again, even when you're cooking sweet things, add a little bit of salt, and that is gonna bring out all the flavors. I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm gonna add my cocoa that we picked up, and I'm using three quarters cup, and that's gonna give a really intense, dark brownie. So that's one quarter, and again, add gradually, like everything else, especially since it's dry. So work one quarter in there, and then another quarter. Give it a quick mix up, so I'm working in. All right, last quarter of cocoa. All right, great. Look how it's really dark now, and it looks fantastic. Oh yeah. And the last dry ingredient that I'm going to add is a half cup of flour. Not much at all, just enough to pull this stuff together. Beautiful. Half cup. So you just want to kind of gently stir it, just enough to incorporate it. Yeah, the batter is looking perfect, which means that I can go ahead and get my secret ingredient for my brownies, chocolate peanut candy bars. I put them in the fridge to keep them cold so that I can chop them up real quick. So knife and just gonna start working through them to get them roughly chopped up and then I'm gonna get them into a finer crumble. Great. People go crazy for these because you got kind of the crunchy, chunky texture and milk chocolate from the candy bars, but then you also have the really rich, decadent taste from the cocoa. All right, so then I'm just going to fold this in with, with a spatula. Great. Then I can dump into my pre-greased pan here. I just want to eat the whole platter. Actually, I think I ate half, half of a dish once. I did, not, uh, I did not move for about six hours, but I did eat half the dish. Okay, great. All right, you want to... You want to smooth out that batter so that it cooks evenly. So get it, really get into the corners there. These need to go into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. 